Hello, it's that college football guy here with an early video. Yeah, I'm here in my truck. What you gonna do? But uh, a little something that happened after I made the video for Paul Chris, or actually it was beforehand, but I didn't get a chance to do it because a lot of stuff happened yesterday after I announced Paul Chris got let go. And has been brought up, Paul Chris being fired, except for the COVID year and this year, he's been there for about six years and he's never had less than nine wins in a season and you're letting him go. So I think something else is behind this. But anyway, the title of the video, Carl Durrell, the head coach of Colorado, as well as Chris Wilson, his defensive coordinator, have been fired. And Mike Sanford Jr., the uh, offensive coordinator, has been named the interim head coach. Are we surprised about this? Not really. I mean, 0-5 start this season. Uh, he's 8-15 and in a little over two years at Colorado. The stats here, I wrote these down. Offensively for the year, 13.4 points per game on offense, allowing 43.2 points per game on defense. Not good. And the scary thing about it is that that 23-point loss they had to Arizona, Arizona being one of the bottom feeders in the conference. Uh, well, Colorado's actually the bottom feeder, let's be honest about it. But um, <laughs> that was the smallest margin of defeat they've had all year. Everything else has been 25 plus. That's bad, folks. That is so bad. But, uh, yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> but let me get in here real quick about um, who is the interim head coach for Colorado. Mike Sanford Jr. He uh, actually was the head coach at Western Kentucky from 2017 to 2018 with a 9-16 and 16 record. Not good. But he's been, primarily been an offensive coordinator. He's been an OC at uh, Boise State, Notre Dame, Minnesota, and then now most recently at Colorado. So we'll see how Gurk's on there. He does have head coaching experience, so that may help out. Well, that was translated into wins. We can we only see. And one other piece of news that uh, came up that I was reminded about, uh, San Diego State. After having a game against Boise State this past weekend where they were up 13 and nothing at the half and then gave up 35 unanswered points to lose to San Diego State. Well, Jeff Heck, Jeff Hecklinski, I had to say his name, close my eyes even to say his name, Jeff Hecklinski was relieved of his duties, in other words, let go as offensive coordinator and associate head, co associate head coach Jeff Horton will be the new offensive coordinator to try to solve the offensive woes at San Diego State. They said, well, you scored 13 points, okay, but your defense gave up 35. What about the defensive coordinator? That's not happening. Because Brady Hoke, the former Michigan head coach, now in his second run at San Diego State's head coach, Brady Hoke, the head coach, is the defensive coordinator. So he's not going to fire himself. So the defensive woes may continue. Is it defensive scheme? Is it personnel? This is usually a group of five problem, but you're playing group of five against group of five, so you should be all right. They kind of shot themselves in the foot at San Diego State about possibly getting a Big 12 invite. This may not look too good for them. Boise State not looking too good either. So, we'll see. Then again, if the Big 12 takes Colorado, winning doesn't really matter, then does it? Because <laughs> Colorado, San Diego State is a five-star five star restaurant and Colorado playing right now is something out of the Happy Meal. It's bad. But, yeah... More coaches getting fired. And unfortunately, this is going to be a trend from now on because of the early signing period. This can become more of a trend, and I don't think we're done. Brian Harson stinks up the joint again. I think he may go on mid-year, but that, it all depends with the buyout because Auburn was has a pin on letting him go last time because of, they got talked out of it because, oh, we'll give another shot. No, it was the buyout. So we'll see what happens there. Um, also, let everybody know, um, I'll be doing my top 20, the AP top 25 review in another video later today. And we can do a new tradition here. Instead of doing both of them in one video, I'm going to do the AP top 25 review on Monday and then my top 25 on Tuesday. And we have college football games Wednesday and Friday. Normally the past few weeks, it's been Thursday and Friday, but it'll be Wednesday and Friday this week. Uh, so we will see. But uh, everybody, thank you for watching the video. As always, please like, comment, share. It helps the analytics. It helps the channel to get seen. And like the video, please subscribe to the channel so we can get this, get this channel to get off the ground and get a little bit better than where it is at now. So thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Any ideas 
by the way, on who could be the next Colorado head coach. I've heard a couple of things going down, and I'm throwing out the dark horse. Some people have already said it, but uh, I've said this is a dark horse, and it is a dark horse idea. Long shot at best. Eric Bieniemy, the offensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs, leaving to come back to Colorado to be the head coach. The whole reason I think Eric Bieniemy is not really that excited about leaving, I honestly believe, this is, and the college channel, but this I'm going to talk about NFL for a second, is I think that Andy Reid has named Eric Bieniemy in secret the co head coach in waiting. So when Andy leaves and retires, which is he's pretty close to doing, Eric takes over as the new head coach in Kansas City. That's my thinking. I could be wrong. I'm just throwing that out there. But everybody, thanks somebody for watching the video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. And please, everyone, be good to each other.